So, so we're going to take three samples and we've chosen the areas, the fast run down there, this section coming across the river here, with particularly looking at that fast run over there, it looks interesting. This looks a little bit more sterile, I can promise you it isn't, mm -hmm. but, but that run over there. And then we'll go further upstream, there's a small, um, I think a small tributary uh, coming in adjacent to it, and there may be something unusual there. But there's not a lot of variation in this stream. It's all fast runs, riffles, pools are under tree roots. We don't want to get involved with tree roots uh, particularly, um, if only for not wanting to damage the net. But um, so uh, and so the sample will be a kick sample, and the, and the idea is to get the stream flowing into the net, held downstream of you, and vigorous pitting really building quickly and slowly moving across with the stream bulging or the net bulging behind you in the stream collecting all the little bits and pieces that may be coming off the stone okay. uh, for example there's a tiny little something or other there yeah. uh, and, and we just place all that sort of stuff into the net uh, and that will be for uh, I say three lots of ten seconds so one two Three, four, kicking like mad, going across the, the stream and, and collecting. We'll start sort of slightly deeper where there's a bit more, so, so maybe from halfway across. Yeah. And collect every 10 seconds, enter the net into the bucket. Okay. Um, uh, three times. Okay. And so that's for this section, then half a minute that section, half a minute up there. And for uh, your 10 seconds, you're probably covering a lot of meters, two meters? Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah. The key thing is, and, and the problems that I've seen with people who haven't done it before, one is not holding the, the uh, net at right angles to the direction of the flow. Okay. You need to get the full width of the net into the flow, not like that. Uh, you know, at an angle, you don't collect so much. Okay. And we, remember, we're trying to do it in the identical manner that uh, we've done all the previous ones, or as close as possible. Yeah, yeah. Now, the actual uh, the, uh, event, so we collect three samples, ten seconds each. Uh, we kick like mad, uh, and uh, then we take them back up and we'll see what we've got. So, so I'll do the first one, okay. uh, and I'll do the one in the fast flow down there, just out of a bit of safety, yeah. and yeah. you have a go at the second one. So can I get the net? You yeah, absolutely. Here. It's a streamy run, so right angles to the flow, a foot in front of me. By the way, this is a really robust net, so it's a walking stick as well. So, so <coughs> I'm going to ask you to shout, to count loud, one... 200, 300, 400. It's surprising how quickly 10 seconds goes. And most volunteers, I hear them counting to themselves. Okay. And they go one, two, three. And in kicking the feet, it sort of takes their mind off what a second is. Yeah. So 10 seconds is really not very long. Okay. So if you could sort of, if you could go backwards, minus three, minus two, minus one, naught, and I'll start. So when you're ready. Okay. Minus three, minus two, minus one, not. Two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we are. Right, let's see what we've got. Okay. And Here. kick around under there. And I'm gonna okay. get and I'm I'm gonna give you ten seconds and I'll say what's starting when. Okay. okay. Start. Not one, two, three. Kick hard. Three, four, five, six. Kick hard. Remember where you're kicking. You're dislodging into the net. Nine, ten. That'll do. That's so. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my word! Soup. Look at look at all that lot in there. Uh, oh wow! You know, there are little bits and pieces flitting around everywhere. I say this the fecundity of this river is, is fantastic. 
So let's slowly trans. Now we'll have to get rid of this quite a bit of this water, I think, uh, and we'll put that in there and let it settle for a minute. I'll just now, absolutely fundamental piece of equipment: uh, the turkey baster. Okay. An industrial turkey baster. So just for splodushing, one thing for splodushing and washing stuff out, but mainly if we want to collect something, we put it over oh, the top yes. and give them a quick suck. Now it's no good for if you've got to, if you're looking for big things, uh, um, but uh, uh, it's fine for uh, for little little animals. Okay, so let's put a little bit of that water into one of the smaller trays. And that tray should be a bit cleaner than it is. There's plenty going on in there. There is plenty going on in there. Yeah. So there are three good guy insects and three bad guy insects and he here they are on this uh, on this simple report which you know I would fill in so the first one is a stonefly mm -hmm. stonefly is uh, it's better for me to find one than to say but it, it, it sort of uh, uh, it obviously it has it has two tails two uh, uh, tails and six legs uh, but it differs from the mayfly which has three, ta they all have three tails, okay. um, uh, by its movement. Its movement is sort of rocking backwards and forwards, uh, uh, rather than mayfly, which... Now, it's not true of all stonefly, I have to, have to say. So the key, th the key thing to look for is, 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 is the tails. Mm. Um, but, uh, so that's stonefly, mayfly, and then caddis. Now, if we've got any caddis, that would be wonderful. Uh, but there are different types. There are cased caddis that carry their own shells around with them, and we may have one. It's got one. Uh, we may not have one. Uh, I don't see one in there just at the moment. We'll have a closer look. But the one that we're looking for is a caseless caddis, and it's quite obvious because it's green, long, thin, and green. Okay. Uh, uh, again. It has gills down the back end, uh, little short stumpy legs. It's quite thin at the front end, mm -hmm. and it's got a couple of little. They're not quite tails. They're hooks uh, for holding on. Either in the case of a casehead caddis, for holding onto his shell, or in the case of the other one, for uh, whatever else you might do with hooks. Mm -hmm. Look at that, and he's gone back in again. That's amazing. Isn't it great <laughs> to see? And. You know, that's exactly the reaction of everybody who comes and has a look at this. It is amazing. Yeah. And it gets people interested in the streams and the rivers and can I have a go and yes.